I live out in Long Island with my wife and you know, a three-year-old daughter, and I, I have a suspicion that my wife might be having an affair with our groundskeeper. Why, why would you think that she's having an affair with your groundskeeper? This guy, his name's Ramon. He, um, have you approached your wife on this? No. Why not? Well, because I, I think she'd get offended because it's it sounds ridiculous. That's why I'm calling you guys because I want to just assuage my uh, suspicions here. You, you think you just have a feeling that your wife is messing around with your groundskeeper? Yeah, well, I have a few good reasons for that. For one, okay, this guy is very, very good looking. You know, he's oh, like, well, hey. oh, well, of course. Well, right, well that guilty. was your first mistake, hiring a good looking <laughs> groundskeeper. No, I'm kidding. He works full time through the year, and my wife has been acting, well, for one, she's more quiet than usual, and she's a little more, like, nervous. Okay, he's good, he's good looking, and she's quiet. Uh, this is still. Okay, so then twice I come home from work, and it's like 6 o'clock at night, and he's leaving. He's pulling out of the driveway while I'm pulling up, where he should have been gone like hours ago. And then, just a couple days ago, I was cleaning up my daughter's room, and I found his wallet in my daughter's room. Oh. I found it underneath her bed. Okay, all right, all right. So you want us to call who? You want us to call your wife? No, 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 no. Prefer if you call Ramon. Okay, all right, his name is Ramon. All right. Here we go. Well, hello, my explorers. Welcome again to another episode on Rowena Explores with a Z. On my channel, I visit unfamiliar places and topics where I learn, experience, explore, and expose myself to new things and new ideas. When I bring you my excursions, I'm hoping you'll see what I'm doing, like what I'm doing, and in turn, visit these places for yourselves. When I bring you my topics, even though they may be entertaining, I'm hoping you find something of value that you can apply to your lives and share with others. Thank you so much for your support and for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't yet done so by hitting the subscribe button and ring that notification bell in order to get notified whenever I upload new videos. Thanks again. And without further ado, we will continue to listen to this episode of War on the Roses with Hollywood, Hamilton, and Marie on 103.5 KTU. Let's continue to listen and see who Ramones sends these flowers to. Hello? Hi, I'm calling for Ramon. Is he available? Uh, who is this? Hi, uh, Ramon. My name's Marie. How are you? I'm from a company called RedRoses.com. Okay. I'm calling to tell you that uh, we give away a dozen free roses once a week, and congratulations, you won the roses, so I'd like to to give them to you. Why? Uh, well, we're a brand new company, and this is a way for us to promote our, our business. Oh. We pick a name, and your name was chosen, so you get a dozen free roses. Oh. How... Well, um, but I, I am a good person. I am a good person. No, I, I know. You're a, you're a great person, and that's why we want, we want to give you the roses. For, for free? Totally, 100% free. We're not going to charge you anything. But I can't send the roses to you. You actually have to send them to somebody uh, in your life. So I don't know if you're married, you have a wife or a girlfriend you want to send the roses to. We'll send them to, to them for free. Yes. Yes? Okay. Okay, well then I need the name of a, uh, of a, uh, do you have a wife? Can you send to, to Mexico? No, uh, sir, I'm sorry, we cannot send them to Mexico. It's got to be in the United oh. States. Can, can you send to Long Island? Do you want to send them to your wife? Gina. Gina? Okay, and do you have a message that you want to send? Te quiero mucho y espero que te pueda ayudar todos los días. Okay, um, not following that at all. Uh, can you do it a little bit at a time? I, I love you. Be f***ing me. All right, Tony, step, settle down. No, uh, Tony, no. uh, legally I have to tell Ramon he you. Ramon? Hello? Yes. Ramon, you are on. You are live on a radio station in New York City. The radio station uh -huh. is KTU. 
I'm Hollywood Hamilton, that was Marie. You are on a cheaters program called War of the Roses. No. You've just been caught cheating with this man's wife? No, no. What's going on? With uh, Gina. I am sending to my, my girlfriend to Mexico. Your girlfriend? Yes. Your girlfriend? Yes. She's married. No, no. Hey, what, do, what do you mean? What do you mean your girlfriend? My girlfriend. She is. She has the same she, name as Tony's wife? Yes. Okay, all right. Okay, so your girlfriend's name is Gina, but your she, employer's wife is also named Gina. So you're saying that it was a different Gina that you're sending the flowers to? Yes. Oh, that's a crazy coincidence. Okay. No, 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 he, did, he did say, can I send these to Mexico? Right, but then he said, but then he said, can I send them to Long Island? But then he sent him to Long Island, yeah. so... No, no, something's not right here. He found he found a wallet underneath the kid's bed. What the hell? Yeah, Tony, how, did, yeah, yeah. How, did, how the hell did your wallet get into this kid's bedroom, Ramon? Seriously. No. Did you hear what I said, Ramon? No. Your wallet? Okay, he hung up. He hung up. It's sick, man. I don't believe this. Yeah, I I know. Um okay, what do you think everyone? Um do you believe this guy? I I don't know what to think when we don't know where to go from here. But what do you think? And uh I don't believe it. Okay, all right, all right. We're sorry, uh, Tony. Okay, good luck with this. We'll, we'll, can we check back with you in a couple weeks? Sure. Okay, all right. Uh, oh well. Ramon and Gina. I believe that Gina is cheating on her husband based on the evidence or what the husband allegedly said he saw or what he found. That's my opinion. Whenever you are hiring people to work within your home, you have to be very careful to bring even maybe even though the person may be qualified to do the job and you wanted to get someone who's good at what they're doing or who is the best on at, for the price you still have to be careful of having these people around your significant other they usually tell you not to get a young girl young pretty girl as your babysitter or your nanny or your housekeeper, but rather an ageable person who is not too cute, you know? Just so you don't dangle the bait in front of your husband. The same is true when you're finding a pool boy or a groundskeeper not to get someone who is more handsome or muscular or cuter than you are as a man. Because, again, you are putting that butter in front of the cat's nose or cat's mouth. Because cats love butter. So you can't dangle someone going around your wife all day because he said he works full time. Um, sometimes no shirt. You come around like, may I have some water? Can I use the bathroom? And she's home alone with him. You know, you can't do that. You have to be wary. You can just hire a company that, that will come into your home once a week or, or so and then go. They'll bring a crew of men and leave at the end of the, their work. Can't have someone around all the time because that's tempting for a woman, especially if the relationship that she's in is not too good you know they're having issues and that guy is right there look the husband said that he found ramon's wallet in his daughter's room under the bed tell me now how did the wallet get under the bed three-year-old child pick it up find it throw it under there i don't think so i think or i believe they were fooling around in that room Ramon and the wife Gina. I think Ramon has his wife or 
a significant other in Mexico because his intention was to send the flowers to Mexico. But instead, the next best thing, since he can send it overseas or out of the country, he decided to send it to his girl, Gina. And he lied. He was like, oh yeah, my girl Gina. No. Whenever they want to hide, whenever it's people of other culture, of other language, whenever it comes down to facts or things they want to hide, sometimes they pretend they don't understand English and they're, they start going into their, their dialect or their main language, their first language to start communicating, pretending they don't understand what the English speaking person is saying. And that's what Ramon did. After he got, when he realized he got caught, that's when he started to speak like he don't understand. I couldn't decipher the message he wants to send to Gina. I, I, I kind of hear what? Yo quiero mucho. And that was what? Um, want, want very much or want to very much. Something like that. <laughs> The Spanish speaking audience could translate that for me. But yo quiero mucho is I want you a lot. Something of that. Yeah, right, right, right. Quiero, want, mucho, a lot. Many. <laughs> you know, something like that. Yo quiero mucho. But anyway, that's the Spanish I have. But I do believe that they're fondling around. I do believe that they are something is going on between them and based on what the husband his his reaction to ramon coming out saying that he sent the flowers to gina his wife he wasn't in any uproar he wasn't i, I mean i know he's not surprised because he has all of this um this evidence first he said that the guy's good looking Apparently, he may know he knows his wife, and know his wife would maybe would be attractive, attracted to this guy Ramon. She, he said, she's become quiet and kind of nervous because you know when you have something going on with someone else, or when you're cheating, you kind of walk in and pins and needles. You don't want your significant other to know what's going on, so you you try to be so cautious that you don't realize that you're kind of nervous or you're giving off some different types of vibes and your significant other if he knows who you are picks up on those things their intuition kicks in and they know something is off something is wrong yes and the other time he said twice he saw her him leaving the house after six when he get home what is he doing there that late so he saw the signs there are signs that a lot of times we get those red flags that tells us that something is going on between the two people and it's for us to look into these signs read on these and come up with our kind of a understanding but i believe the husband should have talked to the wife about this but then again he said that she might not he's thinking that for him to go to her to ask what's going on it might be that um it, she will what say she'll be offended what is it to be offended by if you're cheating if you believe your wife is cheating and you have that evidence what are you talking about what kind of offended you find the wallet did you go to her and said look i found ramon's wallet under my daughter's bed what's going on what's there to be offended about you have the evidence in your hand let her explain to you let her tell you how did the wallet get there i think he he knows what's going on and i think their relationship is not too good i think there have been issues and um they just need to work on it let ramon go talk about it get counseling seek help whether it's couples therapy or individual therapy or counseling and just try to save their marriage 
I would love to hear what Gina says in regards to this issue. I hope when that um, update comes, Hollywood will, you know, let us know and I will update you by leaving the comment under this comment section of the post because usually they do updates like two, three weeks prior after the date of the aired segment. So once again, guys, um, I believe that they are cheating or some something is going on with both of them, Gina and Ramon, and that's my take. What's yours? What do you think? Do you think Gina is cheating with Ramon? Tell me. Please leave me a comment and I will show you a dialogue with you. Once again, this is your girl Rowena Explores with another segment on um, What are the Roses? Until tomorrow, I'll talk to you. Hopefully, my voice will be a little softer and not this raspy. Take care, okay, guys? Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and leave your comment. Until tomorrow, peace. See ya.